in 1945, a 26-year-old Captain Sam Walton, who had recently returned from World War II, decided to purchase a franchise store in Newport, Arkansas. This store was part of a well-known company at that time called Ben Franklin. He bought the franchise with the help of a $20,000 loan from his father-in-law. With that, Walton started his business journey. Soon, the business began to grow and he opened this Walton's Fire and Dime store in Bentonville, Arkansas. By 1960, Sam Walton owned nine Ben Franklin variety stores and was generating an annual business of over a million dollars. However, the transformation of his business life unfolded in 1962. On July 2, 1962, Sam inaugurated his maiden Walmart store in Rogers, Arkansas, named Walmart Discount City. This was the grand opening invite of the store. The supermarket wasn't a massive one by today's standard, but it had a big idea to target rural markets and give people low prices every day. People liked this idea and the first store began to grow. Within 5 years, Sam had opened 24 Walmart stores in Arkansas. Now, nearly 6 decades later, Walmart operates more than 10,500 stores worldwide and is now the world's biggest retailer. Moreover, Walmart is also the world's largest employer and has more employees than big national organizations like China Railways, UK National Health Service and even Indian Railways. In fact, Walmart employs more people than the entire population of countries like Bahrain and Maldives combined. Not just that, Walmart is the world's biggest company by revenue and now operates in over 20 countries. 50% of the company is still controlled by the Walton family. So, without further delay, let's embark on a journey to explore Walmart's massive business empire. First, we will arrive in Albany, New York. This is the largest Walmart location in the US, if not the world, spread at a square footage area of close to 6 acres. In the US and Canada, Walmart now operates over 5500 retail stores, including around 4000 super centers, over 400 discount stores, and around 600 membership only retail warehouse clubs called Sam's Club. In US, Walmart also operates 150 distribution centers. Each one of them employs around 600 people who unload and ship over 200 trucks every day moreover the company also employs over 11000 truck drivers but walmart is not just a physical store it's also the second largest e-commerce retailer in the us and also owns online furnishing and decor retailer hey needle Now from US let's move southwards and we will reach Mexico here Walmart is the country's largest retailer operating over 1800 stores named Bodega Avrera and Bodega Avrera Express Furthermore in Mexico the company also runs around 300 Walmart super centers and 167 Sam's Club stores Now moving to nearby Honduras Walmart operates four Walmart super centers and around 100 low price retail stores named Despensa Familia and Maxi Despensa. Now, let's move towards company's Central American headquarters which is in San Jose, Costa Rica. Here in Costa Rica, Walmart operates over 10 Walmart super centers and more than 280 other small to full service supermarkets with names like Pali Maso Menos and Mexi Pali. Walmart also manages around 100 stores with similar branding in nearby Nicaragua. Now, let's quickly travel to El Salvador. Here too, we will find around 100 retail units owned by Walmart, including 6 Walmart super centers. 
From here, let's catch a boat and head to South America and we will reach Chile. In 2009, Walmart acquired a majority stake in Chile's biggest supermarket chain D&S. Now, Walmart operates over 390 retail units in Chile with names like Leather, Express de Leader, Super Bodega and Central Mayorista. Now let's cross the Atlantic Ocean and head to South Africa. In 2011, Walmart acquired MassMart Holdings, the second largest distributor of consumer goods in Africa. Now Walmart operates over 280 retail units in South Africa with brands like Game, Macro, Builders and Cambridge Foods. Moreover, due to the MassMart acquisition, Walmart also operates 11 stores in Botswana, 7 in Zambia, 5 each in Mozambique and Namibia and 1 store each in Malawi and Kenya. From South Africa, let's travel to Shenzhen, China. It was here Walmart began their first hypermarket in China in the year 1996. Now Walmart operates around 360 retail stores in over 100 cities across China, including 320 Walmart super centers and around 40 Sam's Club stores. Walmart also holds a minority stake in a Chinese e-commerce company called JD.com. Now, from China, let's take a ride to India. In 2018, Walmart completed the world's largest e-commerce deal by acquiring India's leading online retailer Flipkart. Additionally, within India, Walmart also operates over 25 best price modern wholesale stores, a popular fashion e-commerce portal Mintra and also owns a digital payments and financial services company PhonePay. Now, as we near the conclusion of our journey, let's make our way back to Bentonville, Arkansas. This Walton's Fine and Dime store is now turned into a museum as this is where the retail journey of Sam Walton and Walmart truly began. Who could have imagined that such a small store would one day grow into the world's biggest retail conglomerate? So in the end, all I can say is this is Walmart's massive business empire.